Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's going to be the Soul Family Reads for the 30th of September. My last day here at the Ivory Tower, so I flipped things around. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde, better late than never. So that I see the beautiful view. Right now I'm watching this massive cruise ship parking over at the Cozumel cruise ship parking lot. I've never been over there, but you can see the cruise ships from here. Man, they're the size of small towns and things. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> uh, humanity, man. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, why you'd want to pay money to get onto a big ship like that? I don't know. Why don't you just go play on the beach and get a hotel? But, um, it's going to do the four card spread here. Um, this morning. Thursday, which is always Libra Scorpio Day for the heart spreads. And I hope to God next week start banging that. Uh, each sign reading for the singles, uh, meet the soulmate read. I hope, I hope. Today we'll definitely be banging the uh, heart spreads for Libra and Scorpio folks. Good. Empress, I like it. This is us. Where we're at mind and soul right now. Um, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Um, when you're at the point of being the empress, I mean, you come a long way. <laughs> this is not a kid, you know. Um, that's not someone that's uh, a debutante here. Um, boy, we really see the Venus sign there, too. Woman, divine feminine. Abundance. I love it. Well, let's see. Wow, high priestess. Problem is, this is what's crossing us. From this position, this kind of is like the high priestess reversed. <sighs> Thinking about that a minute. You know, the empress and the high priestess. What does the empress do? She relies on the high priestess, you know. I think um, these spiritual advisors, probably practically speaking, kings, queens, you know, that's what astrology was for. I think that's why astrologers got so good, you know. They said, like, when's a good time to go to war? And uh, if astrologer A gave a bad answer and they lost, well, off with the head, astrologer B. Uh, now tell me, when's a good time to get married? So they had a high incentive uh, to get correct. I think that might be why astrology you got, got good so fast. Um, and I kind of see that here. It's like just something with the intuition. This card was really on my mind a lot about a month ago. And I woke up and realized I hadn't seen the interest uh, in, in, uh, the uh, high priestess and uh, weeks and weeks of readings, you know, um, many, many readings. It's, it was kind of uh, unusual not to have it pop up. And, you know, it was uh, really a message to me about not using my own intuition. Um, but here, because it's in the blocking position, I'm kind of almost tended to think it's not really a problem, like, you know, uh, but it is. It's the Empress really needs the high priestess to bring the religious spiritual meaning to um, the empire uh, to her you know uh, to guide her you know um, I think otherwise then our decisions are just materially based and you know that may get a success you might even be a successful emperor or empress but um, probably I'm guessing you know this is what brings meaning to life uh, why the ninth house Sagittarius um, I know it's Pisces energy too but also will co-ruled by Jupiter but it's the you know spiritual essence of everything you know it's not just about having nice things and having success and having abundance and security it's not even about having love you know it's about uh, connecting to our soul's purpose particularly here in this reading the soul family read. And, um, you know, I can feel that some. It's, uh, I think a lot of things are gonna come together this next couple months here. And the massive eh, retrogrades at the end of the year. Uh, there's gonna be huge repercussions. I know people have been saying it, saying it, but next year, I think we're gonna see, and I hope it's positive, but some real changes in the, you know, collective. Wow, we're just gonna go major arcana. And this is the advice. We gotta, there's like a finishing the transformation. You know, this is, uh, and I do read the bottom of the deck. We'll take a look here. <laughs> I'm just reading myself here. Uh, because, look, this is like, uh, 
you know, we're in this really good place and it took a lot to get here. Uh, but we, we can't like rest on our laurels, okay? We always gotta consider what's the spiritual purpose. You know, it's not, even if you're, you know, a billionaire, you know, there's still need the high priest, still need maybe more, they need the guidance. And it, I believe for myself, um, there's an aspect of still being in the midst of transformation. And I hope finishing it up, that really speaks, look, this is all major arcana. This is stuff that's outside of our control. Fate, destiny, God, source, however you want to think of it. Um, and uh, three cards out of four so far. And that's definitely talking about needing to finish the transformation uh, with the high priestess being blocked. It's maybe what, I tell you, it just hit me. I need to really believe. I need to really believe. And I kind of don't. I'm really, really, really skeptical. I was an atheist until I was 47 and I had transformative events. It changed my life forever. My friends used to call me Skepter. It was a combination of specter and skeptical. <laughs> Skeptic. Specter. <laughs> Give you an idea where I was at, you know? So <clears throat> it's hard for me sometimes to believe my own rhetoric, I guess. And spirits like, <laughs> uh, like bending over backwards, like, you know, over and over and over and over. It's like, Luckily, you know, spirit's not a person, so it doesn't, because I think like it would get frustrated and be like, oh my God, what do I got to do to show you, David, that this is real? You know, but it does, it just keeps doing it, it keeps doing it, keeps, because I'm in a good place and I really want it and I'm really trying, you know, and I'm not perfect and it takes a minute. We're cooking. I'm cooking. Look at this. Holy mackerel. <laughs> and then the air fought that the end. I mean, this is just reassurance that we're going to get there. You know, because I think like if you take the Empress and you take the High Priestess and combine them, you kind of get the hair fat. If you're a tarot person, tell me that doesn't make some kind of sense. You combine these two and you get the hair fat. You know, uh, someone that has control, uh, someone that has wisdom, it does speak the Taurus energy. You got Uranus there right now, That's significant for everybody. It's really significant by how it you know, reaches your natal position, maybe progressed, you know. Um, and in the bottom of the deck is the hermit. That's my card for years and years and years. And now here I am in the ivory tower. I make a joke. I'm the hermit in the ivory tower. And what am I doing? I'm coupling. I'm getting ready to leave. And uh, I'm going into a period. And, you know, my girlfriend's on board. She's asleep there. You might see her. God bless her. She sleeps good. Thank God. So I don't have to worry about waking her up. Um, but yeah, I think we'd be light on our feet and everything's fine. And that might be a way to kind of think of this here is remind yourself, God willing, uh, you have food, you have clothing, you have shelter. Uh, there's no worry. There's, uh, we're on the right path. I mean, my God, four major kind out of four, the Empress, the High Priestess, Death, the Herophon. It just absolutely, if you're watching this reading, I mean, whatever you're doing, don't stop, keep going. You know, death is moving towards the hair font here, in the direction of the hair font. I think it's like so close. I think this very month of October coming is going to really uh, see things pop for us if they weren't already. And like a, it's going to be like a finishing school spiritually, I think, guys. But thank you. I hope you like that.